there welcome back to my channel this is reflections by jane i've got the unboxing of the um love from lizzie card making kit for august 2023 this one's called live love and laugh and it is a mega card card making kit as you can see the box is bigger than the one i normally get so if you have seen my videos from boxings in the past for love from lizzie then you will know that um yeah sorry for my squeaky chair <laughs> I don't know that you can hear that, but it's squeaking. I need some WD-40 on it, I think. Um, I always end up with... I think it's because I've got a big fat bum on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the box is bigger. It's a 12 by 12 box, nor it's bigger than the standard uh, A4 size box we, we normally get. Um, I've just checked Lizzie's website. I know she's... I think she's on holiday at the moment. She is away, but I know that there are... Um, uh, the lovely Sue is looking after the store while she's away and a couple of other people um and i can see that this um super card kit is still in stock it is 35 pounds you need to check your um currency wherever you are in the world um to see what the conversion rate is for that but obviously lizzie is a uk based company and um on her website for me anyway it shows us um pound sterling so it's 35 pounds i think that's a little bit more expensive than normal um so uh i think there's shipping on top of that so uh, i think it's probably about four or five pounds of postage and packaging on top of that i'm not quite sure um but yeah as and from what i can tell this is going to blow your minds because the amount of products you're going to get in this kit is unreal if you've seen lizzie's unboxing you will know exactly what's in this kit but nonetheless i'll show you what i've got i did have a couple of add-ons and um yeah so i'll go through those quickly first so first of all i had some of the white vellum and um, i have got vellum but i wanted to test lizzie's and see how it holds up against other brands that i've got and i'm sure it'll be fine i've got some um this is pearlescent i've got a couple of the pearlescent cardstock bundles i love it because it's the eight and a half by 11 size you can make card bases out of this because it is such a lovely thick weight so there's a white there's like a pale pink a gold a red and a bronzy gold there so you get all those sheets there so there's what oh sorry there's a purple i thought there was six sheets it was hiding yeah so there's a purple then a purple one there as well so yes that's that one and I think this one is very similar. There are a couple of shapes that are different. As you can see, there's this, this um, Live, Love, Laugh coordinating pearlescent cardstock. Oh. Um, you know I like to put mats and layers on my card, so these are perfect for that. Um, I think these are double-sided as well. Yes, they are. So uh, for this pack, you get like an, I think that's like an oyster colour. It's not white and it's not cream i think it's like an oyster oyster shell i like i love that one then there's like a, a white ivory and it's slightly off white that one then there's this silver then there's um oh it's like a champagne gold i think then there's a black a lovely blue it reminds me of like a taffeta ball gown, that colour. Love that colour. And then there's that um, bronzy colour one as well. So I love the colour palette of those. Absolutely stunning. Well done, Lizzie, on putting together such a lovely palette of um, colours. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of the box and we'll go oh i got some um embossing powder this time so i've got some blue embossing powder i have got one of lizzie's colors already which is a sparkle it's i think it's a similar color but it's got like glitter in it as well um i don't do much heat embossing these days which is bizarre because that's what got me into crafting anyway yeah i get a lovely embossing fo folder i love this i'm just going to give this a quick run through actually um see see how it Got some, it's really thin cardstock there, but I will give it a quick run through on my Gemini to see how this um, embosses. Bear with, <clears throat> if she's 
you can get a plate in the Gemini. So how have you all been? Drop me a comment in the um, comment section below. Let me know how you all are because I love to love to chat with you. Um, oh, that's, that's really thin. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, you can see the detail of that. That's really unusual. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's, yeah. Oh, that's the, that's the deboss side. And then that's the emboss side. And that's lovely to cut a panel down of that and put on a card would be lovely. You could just cut like a rectangle out of that. Yeah, love that embossing folder. Thank you very much, Lizzie. That's beautiful. Okay, um, right, let's open up the... Let's open up the um, papers. And um, this is my first super card kit. I know Lizzie does one every year. Um, once a year, she'll do a super card, card making kit. Um, and uh, this is my first one, like I say. So you get this gorgeous stamp set. Love this tree. That is beautiful. There's a couple of sentiments in here. Just because, hello for you and with love. And then there's all this um, uh, alphabet stamp. And then there's all these little tiny stamps in here as well. They are absolutely stunning. I love them. So you could make your own backgrounds with these. Stamping them in different colours. Uh, they are going to be so much fun. Um... I just love this heart embellishment as well. You, it, that heat embossed in any colour in blue would be beautiful. I love the detail on these stamps. They are stunning. I can't wait to play with those. Right, you get these um, these cut apart. I think, are these stickers? Yes, these are stickers. So you've got... Um, a sheet of stickers there so there's eight on that that one there these are perforated so they would make lovely toppers if you just trim those down or leave the perforations on if you like a little bit of extra detail um yeah they're lovely and then you get these peel offs so these are the pinstripe ones so they get um three different widths and um they are a lovely red with the gold um, edging or overlay on them. They are really lovely. Then you get your solid coloured cardstock, which is a lovely red. Standard white, which is alcoholic friendly. There's like a craft. I love that craft. It's like a uh, that pen. Oh, sorry, that's a leaf just fell down. That's for me, that's for me or the camera, which I very rarely use. Um, that with some um white heat embossing or colored pencils would be fabulous. Then there's like a midnight blue and a forest green, absolutely stunning colors this time. Love those, those are going to complement my um uh pearlescent cardstock beautifully. Then you get this sheet of white glitter. And it's non-shed. There's no shedding off that whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure how it will die cut, but we can try it for sure. Um, yeah, love that. L love white glitter. Um, there are some. This is. Um, I think it's. Is it called deco patch? Where you can use it. It's thin enough for. Um, um decoupage the, the the original decoupage where you would glue it onto a surface using a medium of some description um but yeah to use it as a background as a card you can use it for that um yeah so there's two different designs there love this mustardy yellow color that's lovely so i will definitely be using those then you get some um uh, the the modern decoupage 
which is building up your uh, designs for dimension. Um, so there's two different designs on here, but you can use them how you wish, really. You can build them up in, in, in order as it tells you to. So A1, A2, um, A3, A4, uh, A5 and A6. And then with these, it's the, the B, so B1, B2. So you would build them up in order. So the lowest number would be your first layer. And then the, the highest number would be your last layer. Um, so this one, two sheets of that. And I do know that Lizzie sells more of those. If decoupage is your thing and you want to do more, you can always buy add-ons of the decoupage sheets. Then we get some um, patterned paper here. So these are A4 sheets um, and that one matches that decoupage. Um, yeah, it's like a thin tissue. Sorry, that's what I was looking for. It's like a thin tissue that you can use for, um, yeah, all kinds of, you can use it for mixed media. So there's a sheet of A4, which is matching that one. That one there, you could cut these squares down if you wanted to, or just use it as a background. It's entirely up to you how you use that. And then you've got all of this. Did you hear that? Brick. I don't know if my camera's going to pick up all that patterned paper. I'm not going to go through all of them. Lizzie did go through all of them on her channel. So if you want to see what exactly what you get in this um, collection, then yeah. So you've got these lovely six by six cut parts here. You can cut them down smaller if you want to. Um, so I think there's two of each design, if I remember that. That is going to make an absolutely stunning background for a scrapbook page. And that's what I think. Or you can use it for cards. It's entirely up to you. But I think that screams um, a scrapbook page to me. I love that. I, I, so that vertically or horizontally would be absolutely stunning. I'm just going to go through a couple of them. You've got these cutter parts here. I think, where's my punch? I think my, oh, I can't get my punch to work. Here we go. Yeah, I think my punch will work on that. I just need to trim it down a little bit. Um, so a two inch punch or a two inch uh, die would work to cut all of those out. So how many toppers have you got there? Sentiment toppers. Um, oh, I love these ovals too. Let's pick a couple at random. Oh, they're double sided. Oh, even better. Sorry, I only just noticed that. They are actually double sided. So you've got the bolder patterns on the front. So if, if scrapbooking isn't your thing and you don't want to use that for a scrapbook page, use the reverse side and you've got more of that ditzy floral there. Fantastic. How wonderful is that? Yeah, so you've got all these papers that are double-sided. So if you don't want to use the cutter parts, you don't have to. You can use the patterns on the reverse. I absolutely adore these papers. Absolutely adore them. Right, I'll put them to one side and let's go through the embellishment bag, shall we? So I've just got in from work. I've had a hell of a day. All the phone systems went down at work just before I was about to leave. So it was, it's was it been absolute chaos. So a hospital without telephones. Mmm, not great. Yeah, so you get these gorgeous faceted gems and there's different colours. So, so there's different shades of gold and bronze in there. I really like those. And they're really sparkly as well. I don't know whether the camera's picking up the sparkle on them. They're really lovely. And then you get these um, sentiment toppers as well. So I'm not sure. What, oh, there's thank you in silver and gold. And there's with love. Oh, mine's stuck together, but that's fine. Uh, there's with love in silver and gold. Fantastic. Then we get, oh, there's a white gel pen. I forgot about this. Let's, let's test it out, shall we? We've got some black. 
Oh, let's not get that one. Hang on a sec. Just grabbing some black card. I want some black smooth cardstock. Not the linen stuff. There we go. Let's try it, shall we? Ooh, very nice. It writes lovely and smooth. Oh, really impressed. With all white gel pens, if you write on a, a dark coloured cardstock, you will lose some of the pigment as it soaks into the paper. But it is still wet, so... Be mindful that if you are writing on anything, anything to give it time to dry or heat set it. But yeah, I'm really impressed with that white gel pen. I think that's going to be um, sand up to my other ones. Okay, right. Let's see what else we've got in here, shall we? Oh, look at all these bows. There's absolutely loads in here. Oh, aren't they beautiful? And they, they're they going to match the paper kit absolutely perfectly. I love that blue. Oh, gosh, so stunning. Little tip for you as well. If you've got ribbon that's a bit crumpled like that, if you've got hair straighteners, put your hair straighteners on the lowest setting and just run it across the ribbon and it'll straighten it out, no problem. So there's a little tip for you. I saw a lady on YouTube do it. I'm sorry, I can't remember who she is. Um, yeah, so that, that, that one's a bit crooked. You could just pull it to straighten it out, like so. Or if these tails are a bit crooked, yeah, just get your straighteners on a low heat setting to iron those out. And they will iron out, no bother. Like that one there that's a bit crumpled. But yeah. So those are the ribbons. Well, ribbons that are already, already tied into bows. So that saves your job if you are not a great bow tire. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. They are going to be absolutely stunning on your cards. Can't wait to see what everybody makes with these in Lizzie's group. Links for Lizzie's group will be in the description box below as well as Lizzie's um, YouTube channel. Um, or just search Love from Lizzie in the search bar above. Love these tags and they've already got an eyelet in them. So if you don't have an eyelet, eyelet setter or any eyelets, then these are going to work perfectly. And just a little bit of twine through these would look stunning stamp a sentiment there's room for you to stamp a sentiment on there as well <clears throat> and you get loads i think it's a 10 five, yeah there's five of each design so there's 10 in there pretty this kit is going to go such a long way and i think people will be crafting with it into summer next year <laughs> i know i will be Right, there's a die this time, as there is normally. And this die, if I remember, yeah, it's a hen. So it's a hen die. Let's, um, shall we give, give her a cut and see how we, um, I think she'll go through my um, sidekick. Yeah, she will, easy. see if we can get her through with one pass or whether I need a shim. Sometimes I need a shim, but we'll see how we get on. Yeah, I would have needed a shim. Let's try her again. Mind you, this is quite thick cardstock, this black one. I think this is about a 280 GSM. Um... So let's put a shim over the top of her and see what happens then. Just need a bit more welly to go through the machine, but 
it's worth it when she goes through. Oh, look how lovely she is. I haven't got my pokey tool. Where's my pokey tool? Do, 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 do. So you can, um, I, I, what I'm going to do is cut her out of two different coloured cardstocks and then paper piece each one. Because I think that would look fabulous. You, you do know I like a bit of um, paper piecing. There we go. She is stunning. I love her. And she, it's that, oh, it's like a Nordic theme, if, if that's what I was thinking of with the embossing folder. So um, with the... Um, to match with the um, embossing folder, sort of the, the, the style of the pattern, that's what I was thinking of. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Right, so let me just get rid of this. Get rid of that and the scraps. Right, and get rid of our, the side kit. Oh, don't lose the die. Right, so put a die on my diamond. And then you get some um, black foam squares. So there's a full sheet here. And I think these are, um, how big are they? They're not a centimetre, half a centimetre? Yeah, half a centimetre or um, three eighths of an inch. <coughs> oh, three sixteenths of an inch, sorry. <coughs> um, yeah, so half a centimetre. And there's a full sheet there, black ones. Yep. And then there's three photo frames. We did get photo frames in a previous kit. If I remember rightly, it was in the watercolour kit. I can't remember for sure. And I've still got some of those photo frames. Um, so, yeah, I think when I do a scrapbook page, I'll be using um, one of these um, on my scrapbook pages. Right. I have been asked, actually, to, somebody asked me to, I showed, um, I haven't, uh, yes, I did a, a scrapbook page with The Last Love from Lizzie Kit using 6 by 6 papers. And somebody did ask me if I would do a process video on how I do my scrapbook layouts. Because it's not something I normally share um, on social media, but I have shared a couple of ones that I've done. Sorry, excuse me. So I will certainly see what I can do um, and see if I can, you know, do a process video on scrapbooking. Um, it is fairly new to me. I, I've only been doing it for about the last year or so. Um, and like I say, it's normally something that's a bit personal and I, I don't really share. But I will do if enough people ask me to. Um, yeah, so I think that's, is that everything? Yeah, so that's the embellishment bag that I've gone through, um, all the embellishments and um, and the add-ons and the main papers. So yeah, um, I'll do um, probably a scrapbook page and I'll do some card making um, when I get a chance because I have got a lot coming up this next week and the weekend. So I'll try and get something done around next week time. Yeah, so thanks for sticking with me. I hope you like this kit. I do, I love it and I can't wait to play. Um, yeah, so uh, drop me a like before you leave. That would be fantastic. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and show me some love. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other.